we are back back in the hotel and ready to go for our first look at the anthem which is the uh, area this this jacket this jacket is a gift from Jack. It's a gift. I'm not keeping it, mate. And it doesn't quite fit, but it's pretty good, honestly. I can't zip it up. Uh, when did you charge your thing? Can't zip it up. Huh? I have two batteries. Two batteries. It's amazing, isn't it? All right, so let's go and check out the. Uh, let's go check out the arena. See what the rehearsal levels are up to. What? The VIP section. Yeah. One, two, that is nice. three. One. One. Uh, this, this Justice homestand looks sick, and there aren't even people in it yet. It's just a beautiful area. This is the anthem. Walking towards the VIP lounge. This looks cool. Paying Got for a couple of nice seats, you know, to get a nice wide view of the TV. The that is a good view. It's not bad. Got a table to be able to host your snacks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Some nice comfy seats. How many people can sit around here? And they, um, I like that they even sold branding up here. Because you can't really see it, but it's still, they made some money. What is it? Powered by... It's like a credit union. It's like oh. a bank. Well, this is our beautiful green room that we've got for today. Some proper makeup lighting, which is wonderful. Nice little couch to be able to sit at. We'll hook that up to the program feed. Just trying to whip my penis. Please stop. There's no ping pong table though. So That's no true. Ping pong no ping pong table. Immediate downgrade pool? from Dallas. Immediate downgrade from there's Dallas. There's normally a hot tub in the corner. Some of you guys don't know that, but <laughs> normally there's a hot tub and uh, free drinks, you know, how it yeah. be. Champagne on tap. But I think that's fine. Cause I'll, you can at least tell that when you're off camera, yeah, my God, it really is like the sun. That's pretty brutal. Yeah, I mean, when you, you, that's all you, you need. You just need to know in periphery yeah. when it switches to something yeah. else. That's it. Yeah. So it's not bad. Okay. We are uh, we are finished with our stuff for the first day, but uh, this this old boy still still got work to do, hasn't he? Yeah. Bye bye. You know it's the cost of being so fucking famous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well bye bye. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have dinner now. Bye, yeah, Alex. See you, Alex. Bye. bye. Go, have, go have your dinner. Bye, Alex. We're in our nation's capital. <laughs> While Golden Boy went to a fancy Nando's in, as he puts it, the nation's capital, we went out for a nice dinner and ordered some wine. And Brent knows nothing about wine, so I loved it when he ordered some and the guy comes over to see whether it's, it's all right, I guess. Gets him to taste it. And the look of befuddlement on Brent's face is just absolutely perfect. The guy's pouring in a little bit of wine and Brent's like, I don't know what to do with this. Super good deal that way. Sniff, sip. Good me, boss. Mushrooms are very delicious. What we got over here, Jack? I got plenty. Oh. What, what you eat? Scampi with mm. head on corks. Delightful. Ooh. Delightful. Then That's over in the corner, we got Jack. Uh, Robert with um, it's a cake made of crab. A cake crab made cake of crab. A wow. crab cake. Wowie. Well, that's huge. The dinner was genuinely delicious, and it just set out a nice mood for the rest of the evening, even though we hadn't done anything all day. It is 9 a.m. on the Saturday, and uh, yesterday was completely useless, honestly, in terms of being productive. I wasted the entire day. Um, there was no effective uh, setup. There was no interviews done. Um, the only thing that I've managed to do so far really is get in touch with a couple of teams and just give them the info and then also arrange an interview with IMT, the head coach of New York, but that'll be late evening on Sunday. So really that just means that I need to bust my ass today to make sure that I get in touch with all of the teams and do that kind of stuff. I got interrupted in the previous video because I ran into the elevator, saw some people and realized that they were fans. <laughs> but I, I should have just continued. Currently having a breakfast. This is one of the nicest breakfasts that I have ever seen. 
It's, it's so genuinely yeah. delicious. I wasn't what a, hungry, but I had to have it. Okay. What a lovely breakfast. Oh, all right. Okay. I thought you were going to comment on mine because it's only pancakes, but I did oh, have yeah. a previous what plate. You, what are you eating? I had a previous plate of this. Yeah, it's stuff. delicious. I'm having my uh, dessert breakfast. <laughs> really? My breakfast dessert. That's how you know you're at a nice place. Well, that's how I know he's English. He's having second breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and short. <laughs> Hey, hey now. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's a Hobbit reference, isn't yeah. it? Okay. I didn't realize that we, were, we could see the entirety of the wall out there as yeah. well. It's yeah. pretty this beautiful. This is one of the nicest places I've ever seen. Yeah, very, very nice. So, back in my room, ready to start the day, honestly. And we are going to have a game plan for today. The game plan is, we're up at nine at the moment. We're going we're gonna to head in. We're going to do some kind of setup, some rehearsal, test the audio, that kind of stuff. We're going to run through the run of show, um, make sure that we're fine with all of the assets that we're running at the beginning of each of the matches. Our match doesn't begin until 5 p.m., but we're still going to be in at 11 because that kind of stuff needs doing in the morning. So that'll give me a lot of time then to be able to also get in touch with all of the teams for interviews. The first match is NYXL against Philadelphia. I can't really interview NYXL apart from IMT, and I've already scheduled his interview. So it really goes, comes down to the Philadelphia guys. And I already got in touch with them and asked to interview them. So uh, I think they're still checking with their organization to make sure it's all good and that kind of stuff. So that would be fine, except I don't have enough time once the NYXL Philly match actually ends. So I'll have to try and catch them at the end of the day or maybe even tomorrow. So that's kind of written off. It's after Boston, Houston. After that match, whoever I can find from Boston or Houston, and then after that, uh, the, the final match of the day, and just picking up those players for post-game interviews as well. So that's the plan today. We'll see whether it actually ends up coming to fruition whatsoever. Hopefully it does though, otherwise I'm gonna be very bored. There's not much to do if I'm not doing interviews. All right, ja Jag and Hex are on boxes here, both of them. They're and look, branded. their little heads barely poke up over the top of the screen. Oh, look at me, I'm proud of being tall. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite amusing. At least we have more hair, mate. The, you definitely do have more hair. Better looking, more <laughs> hair. But that, that's just a fantastic image. I hope they keep it like that. Taller, both of them? <laughs> Copy. All right, I'm sat here with the absolute legend himself. A golden boy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> there he is, ah. the, the national treasure. Mm. We've just been talking to the teams, doing rehearsals, rehearsing some bits. You'll be seeing this guy way more than you actually want him to. <laughs> uh, like, absolutely far more than you want him to. Hex is doing a bit. I've never seen Hex do a bit we got before. Hex to do a bit. So that is like, that's, that's my we got name. Hex. The, okay, uh, you know, the World so Cup squad is starting to expand, that's bring right. new people in. We will just continue to tarnish the minds of all of the other wrinkle brains here in the Overwatch League. And this music, smoothness. this music, I don't know if you can see Hex and ZP, uh, sorry, Hex and Jaws dancing to it. Hex and ZP, I'm, li I'm living in the past, bro. I'm living in the past. I've also been able to snag a bunch of different interviews over the course of today and tomorrow. So we're finally loading up with some productivity rather than just sitting around on my ass. So should have those to you fairly shortly. And this, this music. Huh? Who you got for interviews? I have, uh, Today, I've got Fusions and Color Hex from Boston. Ooh. I've got Gray and 9K from Paris. Whoa. I'm hoping to get some people from Houston as well, but they're all really ill, so I'm not sure whether they'll be down for it. And then I've negotiated some interviews with Philly, but I think I'll have to do those tomorrow. <laughs> We're in a fire! <laughs> Call of Duty! <laughs> The Carpe and Sado stonks are through the roof. Yeah, they actually are. This game is just crushing. Philly is so confident. Jonax made mistakes, who I use made mistakes. Sebi Obi hasn't been hitting shots. The tank line looks weak. Bro, this is, this is a risky one for New York fans. You know, a bunch of people when I did my power rankings at the end of this week, they were asking me why New York, why New York wasn't at number two. Yeah. Could feel it. I mean, also, Philadelphia didn't look that great on their first day, but they've turned things around. As soon as they stopped playing Orissa, as soon as they stopped playing Poco on Orissa, they actually ended up looking sick. Oh my god. Even the Lana got on too. 
And the blizzard gets so much value after that shower. Oh, Sado Stonks. Sado Stonks actually threw the fucking roof. Sado Stonks, dude. Everyone on Philly's gone. I'm so surprised though that they're not playing Fury. How weird is that? That's really true. Warriors going down instantly there. He's in a little bit of trouble, but the rest of the team, you see that every bundle. Oh, Sado! Come on, bro! Sado trying to, the aggressive Sado trying to deflate his own stocks so that he can buy more later. Yeah. Yeah. The difference. Sado might hit him. Oh, the pin! It was way too far to the back! Oh, yeah, the blizzard catches Ivy. They're gonna kill Ivy. Oh my god! Huge shatter. Oh my god! They are cleaning house. Sado stomps, bro. Sado. Hopper fucked up that bomb. He sent the bomb way too far to the back. Is this Sato's true form? <laughs> Is this Sato's true form? Me and Brett are about to go live with the potato bowl. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. It's El Clasico. Boston versus Houston. It's going to be lit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you guys know how it went. It was a great game. It was fantastic. Some of the best Overwatch, Some of the best Overwatch you've ever seen. And we brought it right here. Pretty beautiful yeah, setup. early in the season we thought these are the two best teams, therefore it was hard to pick, but everyone here on the desk did go with New York. I've just finished casting the Boston versus Houston game. It was as ridiculous as expected. The Boston players I just did an interview with were losing their minds. They can't even believe what just occurred. Muffin was shaken for half an hour afterwards. I interviewed Color Hex, he was just speechless at times. Uh, the others have really good English as well, Axiom and Jerry. Oh, not Jerry actually, but Axiom uh, has pretty good English. So, it's uh, an interesting situation. Now the w Washington versus Paris game is going on, so I'll give you a little flavor of what that looks like. They just go home. Look, Assault is one of those maps that like, you can take going in, it's over, you just back up immediately because you need to ace this as the offense. The defenders are spawning right there. You have to be so much better on offense than defense to actually complete Assault. So Paris is gonna wait until they have all of their combos, nearly six ultimates on board, so now it's just order of operations and execution here. I am dead to the world, absolutely knackered after that Boston Uprising versus Houston Outlaws game. Bren, similar kind of levels of exhaustion. Uh, we've just watched the Paris Eternal absolutely dominate the Washington Justice in front of their hometown crowd. Whilst also trying to cop a look at the boxing, which Bren has bought as well. So we're, uh, we're dueling up here. I've got to go and do an interview. I'm going to interview Gray, who I thought would be playing in this match, but apparently not. So I'm going to. <laughs> I've, I've scheduled interviews with Gray and Fusions, neither of who played in the matches. I mean, that's nice, though, to get a perspective of the bench to talk about yeah. the inner workings of the team. What's it like? Are you learning from another player? Yeah, yeah. It could still be very good. I think it's also a little bit difficult to interview the players on Paris because I, I don't know who has the best English out of Nico and Ben Best and uh, FD got. I, I, yeah. Literally, I don't know who it is. Probably Nico, but he's really quiet. I don't even know. Don't even know. So I'm going to interview Gray and then 9K as well. 9K will be a fantastic interview because he speaks very good English. He, he actually lived in England for a while. So that's what I'm planning to go and do. And then we're going to watch this boxing fight and then we're going to reset for tomorrow. That's the plan. So we just finished an extraordinarily long day. It's uh, 11 p.m. Just got back to the hotel. The uh, Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight is just about to happen as well. So, finding an opportunity to watch that game. And I think I've gone past Bren's room. I had two successful, in well, four successful interviews actually. I had Fusions and Color Hanks. And then I had Gray and 9K. The interview with 9K was very interesting. And then I had an interview of my own with uh, a guy from GG Recon, which is. Uh, a cool site that does a bunch of different Overwatch content. I'm gonna bust in on Bren and eat his sandwiches. Oh my god, please work. I don't know why, I'm, I'm trying to use my own key for Bren's door. 
That doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh God, I'm so tired. Today was an outrageous slog. Hello, it's Mr. Brennan. Come on in, I've oh. set it up. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. It takes so long for these things to begin. I'm trying to argue with Wolf that this is going to be one of the best matches of our generation. Yeah, I mean, he it could be. doesn't understand. Where, where are the sandwiches that you stole? Down here. These are all different sandwiches? Yeah. You stole one all of, of these from Caterham? Yeah. They were going to donate them or throw them away, so I just took like four. These are all sandwiches? Yeah, and crisps and bananas and <laughs> chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> yeah. You did a great job, Brent. Thank you. Fantastic work. <sighs> all right, I'm going to chill and watch the game. Oh. Peace. <laughs> Goddesses. <laughs> Death by Snoo Snoo. He's singing. <laughs> Look at this dude. He's crazy. Holy fuck. He's actually it's crazy. It's actually a great walkout song though too. Like, cause it's, <laughs> it's just weird. The, uh, the Tyson for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm brushing my teeth. I don't know why I decided to do a video now. The Tyson Fury fight ended at 1am. It's now... Half past two, because I've been uploading videos. I've been uploading the four interviews that I did today. And now I've got to, I've got to get to bed. I've absolutely got to get to bed. I am ready to nap. So I'm going to see you in the morning. Ah, it is so late. And I need to get up at like 9am. Why have I done this to myself? Why have I done it? Because I'm stupid.